If you spend long periods of the day, sat at a desk or computer, or even on the road driving, you may suffer with some upper back pain, shoulder pain, neck pain, or even headaches. Now, when patients attend our clinic and have that sort of occupation, uh, or the office-based type work, or, or the, the, being a driver, uh, taxi driver, ambulance driver, and they're suffering with, with these type of complaints, typically what we find is that they'll suffer from an upper cross posture or an upper body dysfunction. Now what this is, is that they'll have the forward rounded internally rotated shoulders, the large curve in the upper back, the slumped forward uh, posture, and a forward head carriage. Now typically during the day, if you're, if you're driving, you're gonna be sitting in, in a flex posture, you're going to be sticking your head out in front of you. You have one arm up and one arm down, or even both forward, putting you into that forward rounded position. If you're working on a desk all day, you're not going to tend to sit up straight all day. You're going to slowly slump throughout the day. Hands on the desk, looking at your computer, or even working. You're going to be in this forward uh, posture. And on top of that, you use it in uh, iPads and cell phones. We're con continuously looking down in a forward flex posture for long periods of, of the day. Now what you'll find is by holding this posture for long periods of the day without having any breaks or uh, correcting that posture, certain muscles will become overactive and tight and they will adaptively shorten and the opposing muscles will become weak and underactive and adaptively lengthen. Now what this does is overloads the joints in your upper back and your neck so they become quite restricted and uh, tense and, and so. So you'll find that you, your movement will be, will be restricted and reduced. Nerves can become pinched and irritated. You'll also got, get a little bit of muscular uh, spasm and tension, uh, even the buildup of trigger points within the muscles, and obviously this will cause some pain. Ideally, each evening you want to spend 10 to 15 minutes working through a systematic process of releasing the tension within those tight and overactive muscles. Uh, increasing the movement and mobility within the restricted joints and then you want to activate and strengthen uh, the weak and underactive muscles. So typically with an upper cross posture you'll find that the chest muscles, uh, the upper traps and left scalp muscles tend to become quite overactive and shortened so you'll want to use a tennis ball into those muscles to really release the tension and uh, you can spend two to three minutes working the tension out of those muscles uh, and then you will want to go in and stretch those uh, muscles into their new range. Once you've done that, I suggest moving on to uh, foam rolling your upper back to increase the, the movement and reduce down the restrictions within those joints. And I spend again another two to three minutes working through your, your entire back from the mid back all the way up to the thoracic and, and just basically your neck. Once you've done that, I would add in one or two extra uh, thoracic mobility exercises such as uh, the windmill or uh, the kneeling thoracic rotations. They're really great at uh, increasing the, the rotational movement within the upper back. Once you've spent your two or three minutes doing those exercises, I move on to the child's pose, which is great at stretching out the lats and the back musculature. And just spend uh, holding that uh, ex exercise for 30 to 60 seconds, just really stretching out all those muscles. Once you've done your, your five to 10 minutes or uh, your release techniques and your, your mobility exercises. You then want to go and work on your activation and strengthening exercises of your middle and lower traps and your deep neck flexes. I would suggest doing the prone cobra. It's great at, at targeting your middle and lower traps and your back musculature to help bring your shoulders, shoulders back into the correct alignment. And then I'd also uh, work your deep neck flexes by lying on your back and uh, doing your, your chin tucks um, to really strengthen up the deep neck flexors. Now I'll add a video at the end of this uh, which will go through the whole routine, uh, working through the release exercises, the mobility exercises, the stretches and then on to the activation exercises. But I would really suggest spending 10 to 15 minutes in the evening just working out all the, the tension within the muscles, the restriction within the joints and improving, improving your posture and you'll find it's not going to be an instant result, it's going to take time, it is a process, but if you do it consistently over the next few weeks to months, you'll find that at the end of it you'll have a significant improvement in not only your posture, uh, but also your, your pain and discomfort.